the shockwaves are still reverberating here at the White House after Nikki Haley abruptly announced she's leaving. The reason? Well, Haley says she believes in term limits and it's time for her to go. Still, her departure is raising many questions about what comes next. And for President Trump, it means the loss of one of his highest ranking women in his administration. This morning, the search for answers. Why did Nikki Haley resign and who will replace her? We're all happy for you in one way, but we hate to lose. Uh, you'll, hopefully you'll be coming back at some point. Haley's announcement stunning many in the West Wing, with some disappointed she didn't wait until after the midterms. World. Still, during a joint world. Oval Office appearance with the and president, all world. smiles. I'll never truly step aside from fighting for our country, but I will tell you that I think it's time. Haley, the former governor of South Carolina and one of only a few women in the Trump cabinet, is widely considered a rising star in the Republican Party. She quickly dismissed any immediate political ambitions of her own. For all of you that are going to ask about 2020, no, I am not running for 2020. Instead, heaping praise on the president's daughter and son-in-law. I can't say enough good things about Jared and Ivanka leading to speculation that she may be replacing Haley at the U.N. Ivanka posting this picture on Instagram after the announcement, the president addressing the issue later in the day. I think Ivanka would be incredible. That doesn't mean I'd, you know, I'd, I'd pick her because you'd be accused of nepotism, even though I'm not sure there's anybody more competent in the world, but that's okay. So why is Haley leaving now? Many pointing out she's never been afraid to speak her mind, denying she was the anonymous senior official who authored that bombshell op-ed, claiming to be part of the Trump resistance, insisting in her own op-ed, when I challenge the president, I do it directly. And last month, amid the Kavanaugh controversy, arguing accusers should be heard. It's not something that we want to do to blame the accuser or to try and second guess the accuser. Kristen, what do we know at this point about who might replace Nikki Haley? Well, Craig, President Trump told reporters overnight he does have a short list. Five names are on it. And the name that's getting a lot of buzz, Dina Powell. She's a Goldman Sachs executive. And you may remember she served as President Trump's deputy national security advisor for about a year. She left on very good terms. And adding to the speculation, Nikki Haley posted a picture on Twitter over the weekend of her on a boat with Powell. Now, the president was asked about Powell, and he acknowledged she is among those under consideration. Another name that's getting some attention today, Richard Grinnell, the U.S. ambassador to Germany. When the president was asked about that name, he said he was inclined to keep Grinnell in his current post. So this morning, Craig, the guessing game continues. Guys, All back right. to you. Kristen Walker at the White House. Kristen, thank you.